I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann, on the early one of Tiki Sweet Study and Prayer Line on this 30th day in November uh, 2017. Hallelujah. Uh, let's dive in the Word, y'all. Let's go to Psalms 118 and 21. Thank you, occult. Prayer. Hallelujah. Um, look what it says. It says, I will praise thee for thou hast heard me and are become my salvation. The stone which the builders refused is become the head stone of the corner. This is Yahuwah's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day which Yah has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Um, there's, there's, there's some good news, and it's something about fire and trouble. It's something about fire and trouble that causes one to look to the hills from whence cometh uh, of their help. Their help come from Yahuwah. Because the fallen state of man, um, it takes um, adversity for one to, you know, to reassess what life is about. It takes adversity. Because without adversity, one would then trust in their carnal nature in their own knowledge, in their own wisdom, one would eat, drink, and be merry. And, you know, for tomorrow we die and not uh, have regard in their wickedness based on plenty of food, plenty of loving, plenty of activity, and they've X'd out uh, the Creator. Adversity causes one to stop and examine. It was trouble that caused the psalmist to say, I will praise thee, for thou hast heard me. And then you became my salvation, meaning you rescued me. So there's evident adversity here in order for one needing to be saved needing salvation, needing to be rescued. Bad parenting is when you raise a child and they ain't got to do nothing. They, they don't learn nothing. Everything come easy. They can be acting a fool and you still reward them. They don't learn nothing, and nine times out of ten, they ain't going to be about nothing. But Yah's not like that. There's a problem with humanity. Huh. There was a problem with humanity before the law came. The law was just the tool to expose the problem. But man still was dying after the similitude of Adam's sin. Death was instituted into humanity because the wages of sin, wickedness, disobedience to Yah, is death. It just wasn't nothing to prove it until the law came. The laws were brought to adversity. <laughs> Folks was wicked and they wasn't they wasn't tripping off of it. <laughs> Saul said, I was alive once without the law. But when the law came, sin revived and I died. Proof was on the scene. You got folks running around, don't know ya. They're pretty comfortable with themselves until the true word comes. Somebody presents what they call the gospel to them. And that's when they're pricked in their heart. Adversity. They was going around laying with everybody, smoking everything, drinking everything, lying about everything. Happy about being deceitful, would laugh about how cunning and slick they were. Until the word came. 
opposed uh, uh, adverse uh, 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 point of view, a Yali point of view. And I will praise thee for thou hast heard me. Adversity is here, trouble. Times we living in is ugly. <laughs> but I will praise thee. I got a celebration in my heart. I still have a praise report. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I still have a praise report. <laughs> because thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I have comfort in the midst of trouble. Y'all don't remove trouble. We're perplexed on every side. But there's a joy inside of us, the believer, that supersedes and passes all understanding. He has he has he has injected himself inside of us, given us life through death. He'll cause the problem to bless us. He he allows adversity to make us better. I will praise thee. I have an attitude of gratitude, irregardless of what I'm going through. My actions, which is faith, the substance, the the evidence, my actions is birthed from hope. I have hope in what he said to me, and I'm holding on to it. And what he said to me is producing fruit. It's producing peace. It's producing life. The eternal life has already started. I have eternal life in his word. Already. I got it right now. And I will praise thee. Folks will wonder why the believer is still shouting. Because we know something you don't know. The secret of Yah is with the righteous. I will praise thee for thou hast heard me and art become my salvation. Right now. I'm saved right now. I'm rescued right now. Hallelujah. In the midst of the process. Yeah, he that endured to the end shall be saved. I'm enduring to the end. I'm enduring right now, and I ain't going to let go. I'm possessing what possessed me right now, and I'm so glad about it. I will praise thee right now. I will bless you at all times. Yahuwah, come on. I will bless you who at all times in his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Today, uh, when you hear, heard his voice, harden not your heart, praise him now. Got an attitude of gratitude because he is our salvation. The stone that the builders refused. You look around, uh, the Messiahs. Not only was rejected, he said they're going to reject my children too. You look around in Libya, you know, true, true Israel got a pistol stuck to his head. True Israel is being tortured and incarcerated, gunned down in the streets, uh, used as slaves. <laughs> the stone that the builders refuse. <laughs> He he was made in the body, made like the the rejected, the cast down, the hated. Huh. He came in the likeness of of his folk, Adam, uh, Abraham, and his folk. Huh. The stone that the builders refused to become the head of the corner. Death couldn't keep him in the ground. But it looked bad, to be honest with you. It looked terrible. Let the news reports tell what happened of the gruesome murder, of the torture, of the disrespect, of the humiliation, of the disregard that happened to the Mashiach when he walked the earth. From an earthly level, it looks terrible. From an earthly level, from a carnal vantage, it looks ugly what Israel is going through right now. It's terrible. It's heartbreaking. The celebration of the imposter 
while the true the true children is being despised and spat on. Stone, which the builders refuses to become the head of the corner. It ain't over till it's over, baby. <laughs> the stone, which the builders refuse to become the head of the corner. Hmm. We go through a whole lot of stuff. You look at, you look at, uh, you look at uh, Yosef. <laughs> Yosef got turned on by his brothers. Sold into slavery. Y'all start prospering him, and then he ended up in prison. He was innocent too. He kept his integrity, but he ended up in prison. He ended up uh, helping folks in prison. <laughs> the folks he helped in prison forgot about him <laughs> when they got out. He stayed in prison even longer. And then finally, y'all rescued him and exalted him. And when he was exalted, he had learned so much. He was refined through the hell he'd been through, through the pit, through the slavery, through the betrayal. He had been refined so much that he was able to say, this is Yahuwah's doing. And it's marvelous in my eyes. He didn't come out bitter. Oh, my scandalous brothers. Oh, I'm the anointed one. Oh, look what they did to me. I can't stand them. They need to apologize to me. Poor little me, surrounded by all these devils. That wasn't his attitude. He was able to tell them to turn on him. This was your who was doing. You tell on yourself and prove your carnality when you run around here with wind in your jaws, mad at everybody. What a victimized. I'm a victim style attitude. Better wake up. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world and no weapon formed against you shall prosper. I don't care what you're going through. <laughs> Would you be upset to find out <laughs> this is your who is doing? <laughs> the stone that the builders refused was your who is doing. In fact, the word said, it pleased Yahuwah to bruise him. <laughs> it was his plan to bruise him, to allow them to spit on him, to snatch his beard out of his face, to dig a hole deep and put him on a tree and then raise the tree up and then drop it in there so when it land, all his bones would come out of joint. That was Yahuwah's doing. The mama you had, that was you who was doing. The daddy you didn't have, might have had, or the mama you might have had, didn't have, the finances you didn't have, the circumstances you're in, <laughs> the, 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 the wheelchair, the, uh, the, the short hair, the, uh, the black skin, the... Uh, the neighborhood you was raised in, the people that turned their back on, this was your who was doing. <laughs> is it marvelous in your eyes? Or is your circumstances turning you bitter? <laughs> uh, do you have a Ruah HaKadosh? Can you understand where James was coming from? <laughs> when he said, count it all joy, when you fall into divers temptation? Knowing that the testing and the trying of your faith work with patience, is it working patience in you? Is it causing you to be better or bitter? Are you learning to cast your cares upon Yahuwah, knowing that he cared for you, or are you accusing him of being a traitor? If this lesson gets you off your cousin and your mama and your daddy and them, uh, the rapist and the one that lied on you, if this lesson pulls your accusation off of them and lands it on Yahuwah, Yah himself, and you get the revelation it was his doing, are you still going to stay bitter or are you going to become better? Can you see that it's marvelous? Can you see the trouble you've been through has turned you into his image? It's what you're going through making you 
bitter or better? Uh, family did. Mama did. Daddy did. Cousin did. F- favorite uncle died. <laughs> Lost your money in a scam. Somebody kicked your door in. Bust the, bust the windows out of your car. <laughs> Shot up the wrong house and hit your house. <laughs> you didn't have nothing to do with it. That was y'all who was doing. I heard him say all things work together. I don't care what it is. I care what you've been through, what you've seen, the loneliness you're going through. <laughs> uh, you're going through trouble. Is it turning it, you into an alcoholic? You're a pothead now? <laughs> you feeling sorry for yourself? Licking your wounds? Well, you got a reason to backslide now? Going to another sabbatical? You're going to come up missing again? Who you blaming? This is you who is doing. Is it marvelous in your eyes? Cephas got involved. They call him Peter, y'all. Same one that said, be far from you, uh, Yahushua. You can't go to Jerusalem and let them dog you out. We're going to fight. Same one Yahushua looked at and said, Satan, get behind me. You sound like the devil right now. You're a, you're an adversary to the to the to the plan of Yah. Same Cephas said, "Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial." He learned something. He didn't want him to suffer at first. <laughs> After he suffered so much, he said, "Hey, y'all, think it not strange concerning the fiery trials. Don't think something is wrong because you go through a fiery trial." <laughs> Think it's not strange. Don't think. Don't think you, you you special. Folks like to think themselves special. Oh, I must be special what I'm going through. You ain't no special. Ain't no big eyes and little you. Run your lane. Stay humble. Quit feeling sorry for yourself and quit exalting yourself. Stay even keel. <laughs> you should know how to be a base and you should know how to be exalted. Stay cool. Now stay in the middle, y'all. Think it not strange concerning the fiery trials, which is to try you, it's to test you. You're going through your test, I'm going through mine. Lay down on the bench. You see somebody with 600 pounds on it. You see somebody with 40 pounds on it. Y'all put the, the, the perfect amount of, of weight on the bar. The perfect amount of weight on the bar that it would cause you to to expend everything you got in you to pump it 10 times. So when a person got 600 pounds on there, he got enough strength to pump it 10 times. And the one that got 40 pounds on there, he got enough strength to pump it 10 times. No more, no less. Because huh. Yah is faithful and will not suffer you to be tempted above that which you are able but with the temptation, make a way of escape that you might be able to bear it, that you might be able to give him 10 reps. You will have to love him with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength to make it in this one. When the word comes, you got to be willing to obey it, not hear it and be forgetful, not hear it and disregard it, not hear it and then give yourself an excuse. I'm a work in progress. You better repent and do it right now. Revelation, repent and do it quickly. And he allows the fires of his life to bring you to that conclusion. What's taking you so long? He allows the, the, the trials of his life to get you where you need to be so he can resurrect you up out of here. Catch you away up out of here. Either the, 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 the corporate gathering or your solo bolo. I'm out of here. At that appointed time, I will praise thee. Do you have that revelation? For thou hast heard me. We know the words, if he hear not the prayers of sinners. If any man be a worship of him, him he heareth. I will praise thee. Are you a true worshiper? Not the kind of just worshiper with your mouth, honor him with your lips, with the kind your heart is with him, your confidence is with him. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'm still praising it. 
I will praise thee. Why? For thou hast hurt me and are become my salvation. The stone which the builders refused, the religious folks didn't want to have nothing to do with. <laughs> the stone, the rock of my salvation, the builders refused, has become the head of the corner. This is Yah's doing. The trouble that Yahushua went through, this is Yah's doing. The trouble that you're facing and going through, this is Yah's doing. Give credit what credit is due. You want to give him the praise? You say, what, you only praise me through good things? Can you only praise me through the bad? What, you funny, Sky? You only here for the fishes and loaves? I can't put you through nothing. I can't test you. I can't raise you up. I'm a perfect parent. I'll allow things to happen. It's for your good. Your carnal mind hates it. Carnal mind won't his cake and eat it, too. Carnal mind wonder why me? If you knew, you'd be saying, hallelujah, I'm glad it's me. <laughs> it's a good thing that I was afflicted, I heard the psalmist say. <laughs> this is Yah's doing, and it's marvelous. <laughs> and it's marvelous. <laughs> I've got an attitude of gratitude. I'm counting all joy when I fall into divers' temptation. Knowing this, you got to know something, y'all. Knowing this, that the trying of my faith work is patient, and that patience have a perfect work, that I may be perfect and entire, lacking nothing. I'm equipped. I'm equipped and ready to please him that has chosen me to be a soldier. This ain't nothing but boot camp, baby. <laughs> we had a lot of stinking thinking, a lot of junk, a lot of information that was put in us that's anti yah and he knows the obstacle course to put you in and get it out of you. Mose, they call him Moses, was in, in Egypt, and he wanted to do the things of Yah. He went to go rescue them, but he was carnal at the time. He went and killed the Egyptian for messing with the Hebrew. <laughs> and then he went back to holler with the Hebrew. They turned on him. You know how ninjas do. <laughs> <laughs> Melanated folk do, Israel do. Who made you? You know, came against him. He said, They don't tell on me. They snitching. He was gangster with it. He wanted to do the will of Yah, but he was too carnal. He was 40 years old when that happened. He went in the media, ran away. He met uh, Yahuwah in a burning bush. <laughs> Yah talked to him, sent him back. 40 years later, it took some time for him to get that junk out of him, all that Egyptian. He had to he had to get Egypt out of him so he can send him back to Egypt, so he can bring his people out of Egypt. <laughs> so he's working on us. <laughs> Adversity. Trouble is here to work on you, to test you, to try you or whether you would obey him or not. You can say what you want to say. You can praise him all you're saying all you want. Are you going to obey him or not is the key. Ain't nobody going to talk their way into the kingdom. Say what you want to say. Make the excuse you want to make. Give yourself a pass. Judge yourself on the curve. Holler how much he know your heart. All you want. But you're going to have to pass the test. <laughs> Bless is the man that endures temptation. <laughs> For when he's tried, tested. And he suffered the hunger. And he fed thee with manna. Manna is the unknown hidden bread from heaven. Suffered thee to hunger, and he fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not. You didn't know what was going on. Neither did your fathers know. You couldn't ask your carnal daddy or your mama. Blessed the man that walked down the council of the unyali anyway. You can't go to your unsaved mother, father, cousin. They might be wise, but you need to rule Hakadesh. Only Yah got the answer to this. 
He suffered thee the hunger, and he fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not. Neither did thy fathers know that he might make thee know. He wants to make you know this. I haven't seen, ear haven't heard, neither has entered the heart of man the things which I have prepared for them that love him, but he has revealed them on us through his ruah, through his spirit. Yah wants you to know that he might make thee know that man does not live by bread alone. Man does not live by bread alone. Man does not live naturally alone. You live naturally in this world, but there is a spiritual realm a spiritual kingdom that we must be born into through belief. And walking in that kingdom is a kingdom of righteousness and is governed by his word. And trouble in the natural kingdom causes you to seek his kingdom, his spiritual kingdom, which is governed by his word. If you mess around and understand that you're passing through a physical world, but you're dealing with things from a spiritual perspective, it should cause you to submit and walk in the revelation. Man does not live by bread alone, physically, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Yah, if you're going to live. What does Yah say about it? And what causes you to come to the end of yourself and start looking towards the hills from which cometh your help, your help comes from Yah. What causes that is trouble. So now I can count it all joy when I fall in the divers temptation. I am count it joy when I'm tempted and tested because it ain't nothing but a test. I can count it joy, a.k.a. I will praise thee, for thou hast heard me, and art become my salvation. The stone which the builders refuse to become the head of the corner, where people despise righteousness, self-denial, obeying Yah, coming out from among them and being separate, people despise that because they want to do them. The stone, the rock, the word which the builders refused. Let's break it down some more. It's the word that the religious folks refused, that the righteous, self-righteous person refused. You ain't got to be religious. You can be self-righteous. The, 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 the word of Yah, Yah himself, that the builders refused, those that are building their own life, their own paradise, their own sanctuary, their own happiness trying to create their own destination their way. The word, Yah, that people refuse is become the head of the corn. And what happened to the Messiah, Yah did it. And what happened to you, Yah did it. Now, is it marvelous or are you mad? Now, can you forgive others? Who cheated on you, lied on you, abandoned you, left you? spat on you, re- rewarded your good for evil. You was good to them, they turned on you. Can you let them go and understand it was Yah's doing? And I pray it's marvelous in your eyes. This is the day. He said, today you hear his voice, heart, not your heart. This is the day. The situation, the day. <laughs> Sufficient is the evil in today. You ain't got to trip off tomorrow. Ain't even promised. This is the day. Forgetting those things which are behind. This is the day which your eyes made. The day that whatever happened to Yahushua, Yah made that day. Whatever you went through yesterday was a today. And whatever happened in that today, Yah did it. This is the day which Yah has made. What you going to do? Get bitter or get better. We can rejoice and be glad in it. Spirit of living, Yah, we love you and thank you for the gleaning in your word. We pray your word went forth with clarity, falling down in the souls of your children, springing up in everlasting life. We trust and believe that it happened accordingly, and we celebrate you, and we thank you.
even for this. In the matchless name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and amen.